Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Jill. For those of you who have not subscribed yet, today we're going to make some crock pot Southwest beef shredded tacos. And it's one of my favorite things to make. It's super easy. I promise you're going to love it. Then at the end of the video, we're going to see what my husband thinks about these. This is perfect for any get together or maybe the Super Bowl party or tailgating. You're going to love this recipe. It's going to serve six, but you can always double it if you need to serve more. We're going to start by placing this two pound beef chuck or beef shoulder in a nonstick skillet with one tablespoon of olive oil over medium high heat. We're going to brown this beef on all sides. It's going to take about two minutes each side. So when we have that nice brown color, we're ready to move on to the next step. Now that we've browned the beef, we're going to throw it in the crock pot. Next, we're going to add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. followed by one half cup of sliced onion and three cloves of minced garlic. And this is where we add all of those awesome fun spices. We're gonna start with one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, and I promise this won't be too spicy, it just adds some great flavor without being super spicy on the palate. One teaspoon of cayenne powder, one and a half tablespoons of cumin, one bay leaf, mine actually crumbled into a few pieces, one half teaspoon of dried oregano, and finally, just to add some flavor, you can choose any type of dried chili pod you'd like. I'm using a New Mexican chili, but feel free to add an ancho chili. We're going to take this out at the end along with the bay leaf. And finally to this, all we have to do is add enough water to cover the beef. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, get all of the spices incorporated. Then we're just gonna put on the cover, set this on high heat for four hours. Now all we have to do is wait. Okay, so next we're moving on to the guacamole. This is a super awesome guacamole, you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna show you first how to cut this avocado very easily. We're gonna use five to six small avocados. You just stick that knife in there and pull that pit out. And then you can actually cut it while it's in the shell into the sizes that you want. And the key here is to get that spoon that fits into the shell and dig it down in there all the way down to the base. That way you get all of that avocado out and you don't have any waste at all. And this goes super fast. And then we're going to want to put the lime juice on there first. So two tablespoons of lime juice. Then the trick here to get that more limey flavor is to use a teaspoon of lime zest or if you're out of lime you can use lemon or a combination of both. So we're going to put that zest in there. Then we're going to add two chopped minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of chopped onion. I actually like red onion. I only had white on hand for this. So we're going to go with the white but that, that's fine. You can use any kind you want. And then lastly one half of a minced jalapeno. I actually had a really big one. So it's actually quite a bit of jalapeno in here, but the bottom half is not as spicy as the top half because the membrane itself is what is spicy on peppers. Peppers have some medicinal value as well in that they take that capsaicin from hot peppers. That's a numbing cream that they use for people to help them with any pain on the skin. You'll see it in um, the store's capsaicin cream. It's also a prescription cream. So that's some, maybe some just some trivia you might not know. And then lastly, we're gonna add one quarter cup of cilantro. Then you're gonna wanna season this with salt and pepper to taste. I'm using some sea salt from Trader Joe's to taste. Feel free to add more lime juice if you'd like. And then we're gonna do some cracked black pepper. You can mash it up with a spoon a little bit if you'd like, or get the potato masher out. I like mine a little bit on the chunky side. I'm gonna squeeze it in here, and we're gonna wanna let this chill in the refrigerator for about an hour before we serve it. That lime juice is gonna keep it from turning brown, and then we're gonna cover it with saran wrap as well, just to make sure. We're gonna make some puffy tortillas here. 
we won't we don't want these to be too hard we want them to actually have a little bit of a a soft crunch to them and a softness and chewiness too so we're going to hold this in a v-shape we're going to let it get puffy so these are awesome puffy tacos definitely want to make sure there's room for that beef filling in here so when they're almost done you can hold them in position and try to get them to to fold and hold that fold position now you can see it's holding that position a nice beautiful taco shell so now it's ready to come out of the oil and we're going to let it drain here on the paper towel and this is the best time to actually salt these so we're going to do both sides we're going to do a little salt on both sides while it's draining So you can see how that looks with that little bit of salt on there. I'm excited to see how this did. We're going to go ahead and take off the lid. One thing I do want to do, the first thing I want to do is add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to start with a teaspoon of salt and one half teaspoon of pepper. We're going to shred that up a little bit. It just kind of falls off the fork. You can just see how well, this comes apart. It doesn't really want to stay together, which is exactly what you want. Nice and nice and soft. You can see how nice that is. You can you could cut it with a knife if you wanted to, or just shred it with a fork. It shreds pretty easily. Once you get it into the sizes you want, we're gonna throw this back in there. This is also the time where you can take out that pepper that you put in there, that hot pepper and then also the bay leaves. We're going to go ahead and shred the rest of this. Now we're going to put this back in there as well. And now we are ready to stir it up, give it a taste, and see if we need to adjust the seasonings anymore. Hmm. Super good. A little bit more salt though. Not very spicy at all. Maybe just a little bit of spice at the end but I think we're ready to plate these now. So I've got my cute little avocado that holds my guacamole, and we're gonna go ahead and plate these. So yum, here we have the tacos, getting a little bit of taco juice everywhere. Now all we have to do is put a little bit of guacamole on there. Pretty red and green. So we're gonna add some salsa on top. So there we have our guacamole out of my little avocado dish and finally some salsa voila there you have it southwest shredded beef crock pot tacos with a puffy taco shell mm. try to go walk on the top mm -hmm. i beat this thing in three bites but i'll i'll be good mm. Mm. <laughs> Need a napkin? I've got one, okay. Mm, that meat's just perfectly tender. It's shredded nice. Mm, fresh guac and those spices, like seasoning. Mm, mm, hungry. This is a reward after a hard day's work. It's really good. Yummy.